Today, we're taking a look at the Electra Verve. This awesome timber and stainless steel machine, dual boiler, is it the next machine for you? Well, I'll tell you all you need to know. In the marketplace, a lot of people start to think, do they want single boiler, HX, dual boiler? And price really starts to jump into it very quickly. When you make the decision to go from a single boiler to a double boiler, there's a price jump from nearly three, three and a half grand up to the $7,000 mark. Now, there are a couple of awesome machines like this Verve that sit around the $6,000 marks that gives you a ton of value. So the biggest outstanding part of the Verve is a five litre water tank. Now that is the biggest you're gonna get in any home machine. It also comes with a rotary pump, which means you can plumb that into your mains water and never run out. You've got a drain so that you can have your drip tray go down into your sink. There's a fully integrated app allowing you to change um, the time the machine turns on and off, your pre-infusion times, and a few other cool features as well. You've got the dual boilers. The rear boiler for your hot water and your steam is 1.6 litres. And in the front, you've got a fully saturated boiler and group together of 150 mil, which is PID controllable. So you can increase or decrease that temperature for that specific roast profile that you have. Now, a lot of people think that with double boilers, your power is gonna be crazy, but the Verve comes in at 1600 watts for that whole pack, which is so low. That is about the same power usage as some of the HX machines for around the three, three and a half grand mark. So with those specs alone, the Verve is sitting at the top of the list. It's a real standout, but there is this customization, which is just next level. You've got this multicolor timber wrap that goes on the sides of the machines. You've got all the highlighted steam knobs, the brew levers, and these really beautifully um, turned different shaped group handles. They're just an absolute joy to hang on to. In the drip tray, you've got this little cup riser and you have so much room under here to do your really big mugs or your 16 ounce coffees if that's your kind of thing that you want to make at home. Uh, a lot of the machines out there don't have that much space. If you're going to do an espresso, pop in your little tray and that's going to raise the cup right up so your espresso is not falling a long distance into the cup. You've got your normal lever system here for your hot water tap and your steam as well. It's not a cool touch wand, but you do have your rubber on there to keep it nice and safe. And then you've got your brew lever, which has a pre-infusion you can change by the app. This one's at three seconds. So there's your water hose, it's a plumb from the mains and your drain if you wanna run that down into your sink. You get a standard um, 18 gram basket, a seven or nine gram and your backwash as well as part of the kit. And you get a heap of paperwork to tell you how to use the app, use the machine as well. The manual for this is also in the app if you need it. And to finish it off, you get a sexy matching timber tamper from Electra. That is a really nicely finished tamper. Now to access the app, it is through Wi-Fi and you get a set of keys. You pop it in and turn it, grab your smartphone, open up your Wi-Fi, Pick the Electra, and because the app is actually inbuilt and running through the Wi-Fi of the machine, you don't have to download an app. So anyone's got easy access to your machine if they're gonna use it. As you swipe through from the left, the first thing you can do is change your, your pre-infusion. Ours is sitting at three seconds. Then you've got your rear boiler, which you can increase or decrease. Currently, we're sitting at 90 degrees for the front brew boiler. 
swipe again and you've got a timer for when you can have this as nighttime mode. So when it's gonna turn off at night and when it's gonna turn back on in the morning. The next swipe is whether you're gonna to choose to run from the five liter tank or from your mains water. Remember, if you're gonna get a mains water plumb machine, there's a few things you have to think about like filtration, a pressure limiting valve, and making sure that that filter suits your local water. So do a nice test to make sure you're gonna cover that beautiful water quality to make this machine give you a great espresso. And on the last page, you've got a reminder about your water softener. Now, not a big issue here in Australia, but um, overseas, that's something you definitely need to think about. Then you've got a little reminder there of how often you need to clean your machine. Then you've got how many shots the actual machine has actually made. And at 2000, I'm pretty sure that's the number when it's gonna tell you to change your water softener. Then it's got the manual. So if you lose all that paperwork, it's all here on the app, easy to access. Now when you've got it in sleep mode, just a little tip, the light will stay on because it has to have power to keep the brain going to know when to turn the elements back on. So don't be fooled by that one. So to access the water tank, you do have to remove your cups and then you've got these two grills and you can't lift them straight out because they do catch on these side rails. So you've just got to sort of manoeuvre them up a little bit sideways and bring them out. Now you'll note that this does have a water cover, but in most other countries, I believe this is not sold with this option. But in Australia, the, the supplier is giving them with them. So that's a fantastic feature. You can pull your tank out, fill that up if you need to, and pop it all back in. Once you get the knack of it, it's pretty easy. And then with your drip tray, there's a little trick to it. Take off your cup espresso riser. Now this is your um, little dial that you have to turn which automatically flicks back. And that allows you to remove your drip tray. And you can see under here, that little latch that does flick back. So if you don't hold it, it will actually lock the tray in and you won't get it out. The one thing I notice about the Electra Verve is that they are so precise in all of their um, tooling and how they make this handle, the groove, the fit, how it fits into the actual brew um, head as well. It is very precise. It's not forgiving. Um, but once you get used to it, it's really good. A lot of people have the E61, it's a little bit wobbly. These are beautiful and precise. So when I'm talking about precise, is you've got your marker on here, which holds your spring and identifies the point where you can only maximum fill with grind. You can't overpack your basket because you will not get this handle inside this head. So you definitely wanna be weighing out the amount of grind that you're putting in your handles for the Verve. And you've got your dual gauge on the front there showing the steam pressure at 1.2 bar and your pump pressure as well. You can actually vary the pump pressure You've got access on the left hand side with a screwdriver. It's currently set for nine bar, but you could reduce that right down and have it set at three or six or whatever you choose uh, to brew your coffee with. So let's make a coffee. Nice warm clean handle before you start. I'm going to tear that off on our scale. Whoop. Brilliant. Now we've got this grinder set for 16 seconds. And it's gonna be pretty close to that 18 grams that we're looking for. If you're grinding out, grind out about half of your basket, give it a bit of a tap and collapse, and grind out the balance. Let's just check the weight on that. 19.6. So we're a little bit over. So I just wanna bring that back down to 18 grams. Otherwise it's not gonna fit inside this basket. Gonna use a spoon and a dosing pot just to take out that extra gram weight. There you go, 18.1. That's pretty close. So we need to now get that back nice and level before we use our distributing tool. We've got the nucleus tool here today. So pop that in, give it a good spin. I'm gonna use the tamper that came with the Electra machine here. Nice and firm, give it a bit of a turn. So no re-tapping, just polishing it like that is awesome. Lock the handle in. Now we've got three seconds of pre-infusion, which is what I'd call line bar pressure. The pump hasn't been activated. 
Then you could hear the pump kick in and we get that awesome espresso coming out. Nice and rich, chocolatey and dark. This is a small cup, it's 220 mil I think, so I don't want to go too crazy. We're looking for a one to one ratio there, which is about 20 seconds extraction. We're going to froth. Now these, um, these levers here, they're nice, beautiful and timber. I found them a little bit slippery myself. So give it a good squirt to get that water out. It is a quite a dry steam on this machine. Um, there is a little bit of a water build up there, so make sure you do give it a good purge. Get it spinning nicely with no hiss. You introduce that hiss. Once you've got enough foam, and not before 40 degrees, just keep that spinning to the temp that you're after. Make sure you give it a nice clean up. All right, now just before I pour, one thing I do want to point out, this lever is beautiful. It is so smooth, it just glides. That's amazing engineering on this model. All right, tap, swirl our milk, and swirl our espresso. And here comes the pour. There you go, beautiful little rosetta. Now that was a really nice experience. And that's something you've got to think about when you look at different machines. They spent so much time here changing the look, the feel, and the user experience that I've just had making this coffee that makes it stand out above all the other E61 style machines that just have the big lever that's exposed on the front. So if you're looking for something that you know, you get up in the morning and you want to really enjoy making coffee, you want something that looks beautiful on your bench, try and think outside the box. This machine could be the right one for you. It's definitely um, a great experience. It makes a beautiful coffee and you've got all that flexibility there to change your brew recipe with your pre-infusions. Uh, manually, you can change that pump pressure. It's just ticking so many boxes out there at that great value of around the six grand. So if you're looking for that machine, a little bit different, I'd put your eye out and have a look at an Electroverve. Thanks guys, I hope this has given you an idea about this machine and how good I believe that they are. And is it your next machine? Well, if we can help you, make sure you reach out. Uh, if you're not in Australia, sorry, can't help you, but track one down and I'm sure you're gonna love the experience. Cheers guys, we'll catch you next time.